Okay, now we will be uh, now starting a new chapter that is load flow of radial distribution systems. So, uh, before starting anything I have to tell you that try to understand this right. Uh, perhaps a book uh, uh, will not find all these things, uh, but things are very simple and, uh, and we will only treat that balanced distribution system not the unbalanced distribution system. And for the distribution load flow we will talk about two methods only, first all the theories will be given after that we will see the uh, numericals. So, question, question is that, that when we talk about uh, that uh, radial distribution network before, uh, before you are uh, explaining all these things first certain things let me uh, try to explain. For example, for example, when we studied that your power system analysis course the structure of power system and your uh, what you call that your uh, substance uh, your and few other aspect there we have seen the transmission line, sub transmission and distribution system, but actually how distribution things are for radial and why it is radial. First you have to understand this, Ma here mathematics are very simple, but you have to understand particularly from the little bit of uh, solving is also very easier and if you want to write code then two algorithms will be given and it things are very simple. It is not only help you for uh, your what you call for uh, this course, but those who does that BTEC project on distribution system it will help you to write the course on distribution load flow. So, that based, based on that all these things I have tried to simplify and uh, just see how is it before ex for example, that whenever we are suppose any transmission line we are talking sub transmission, sub transmission distribution system. So, suppose when line is coming from somewhere say this is the transformer is there right, this side transformer is there. So, this side it may be 66 kb, it may be 132 kb right it may be 33 kb I mean this side right and it may be 220 kb also, but generally it is 132, 66 or th this side and this is your step down transformer and this side actually 11 kb. Uh, so, our distribution network actually in our country it is most of the overhead distribution networks you will find all are overhead you will find 11 kb only right, but in some places in hilly areas I have seen that distribution your network they have 15 kb or 22 kb and some cases even less than that 11 kb voltage 66.6 kb also right. So, even 3.3 kb. So, question is that uh, but overhead I mean bulk of the overhead distribution systems they are of 11 kb. So, when it comes to the distribution side that means when substation it is coming it may be 132 kb line is coming or 66 kb or 33 kb line is coming then voltage actually is being stepped down. So, when it is stepped down it is 11 kb now 11 kb feeder will be there for your example for your say this thing and suppose suppose if I put forget about this side you forget about this side if I put suppose this is my say node 1 then if this is my node 2. So, uh, suppose some load will be tapped here you have that distribution transformer right. This transformer actually this side is 11 this is 11 kb feeder 11 kb line. So, this side is 11 kb and this side is say 400 volt this is a distribution transformer different rating distribution transformer have different rating it may have 1000 kba it may have 500 kba it may have your uh, what you call 100 kba, 200 kba, 75 kba, 50 kba, 25 kba, 16 kba and 5 kba different type of ratings are there it depends on the your loading condition at that reason. And so, so this side actually this is 11 kb feeder and this side actually is 400 volt. So, whatever residence you get in your this thing suppose line to neutral voltage this will be 400 by root 3 volt that is whatever we get in your residence or in your, if you stay in the hostel in your hostel. So, this is actually this is this 400 is line to line. So, this is 400 upon root 3 volt uh, regarding delta star connection star delta all have been explained in the power system analysis course, but our objective is not this, but this is our the, uh, this is actually uh, your distribution transformer and current is uh, your flowing load is there here this side load is there distribution side. So, naturally the current is flowing. Similarly, and another distribution transformer will be there and so on. So, this side also uh, your this is again 11 kb and this side again 400 volt right. So, normally what happen 
that uh, when you come to the substation here, this voltage may not be 11 kV, it may be less also. So, generally in our in our uh, your what you call in our uh, load flow analysis, we will assume they are 11 kV, right. And in that why it is below 11 kV, because when that uh, power is coming to the transmission line, there must be some voltage drop along the line. So, this side voltage may not be uh, 66 or 33 or 130, it will be less than that, but transformers they have the tap changer, you can change the tap and you can make it to approximately 11 kV also, right. So, we will assume it is 11 kV, but uh, let me tell you in rural areas, uh, rural areas actually uh, I, I have observed that many suppose when distribution feeder stretches to a very long distance you will find um, this because you can ask me sir this is 11 kb these are all 11 kb by 400 volt 11 kb by 400 volt transformer and here uh, your what you call although voltage at this bar bar if it is 11 kb it will be less than your 11 kb that is true right but but it is 11 kb feeder so so voltage may not be your what you call may not be that uh, uh, your that will be uh, uh, that much variation but everywhere if you have a transformer tap uh, then you can uh, change the tap settings such that you can get the voltage to approximately 11 kV, right. So, if, and uh, you can find in rural areas particularly in the villages where uh, distribution feeders are too long at the tail end of the feeder you can find voltage is 7.5, 7.6 kV or 8 kV like that. So, voltage is very poor uh, because of this volt if the voltage is very poor naturally that uh, you have a uh, agricultural motor pump set in rural areas and it will try to draw your what you call because of low voltage that huge amount of current and because of that consequent effect is that your what you call that industrial that agricultural motor pump set that your insulation will burn right. So, that is why you have to maintain the voltage at 11 kV right rather than operating it at very poor voltage. So, this actually all these things that 11 kV by 440 volt it will stretch long right it will be stretching long say 1, 2, this is 3, this is 4 and again there is a possibility that some, some uh, branch will come here, this is lateral branches and it will move and everywhere you have 11 kV, what you call 11 kV by 400 volt or 430 volt or 440 volt whatever transformers available according to the your rating of those things apparatus. So, all, 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 all the all everywhere you have the distribution transformer everywhere because it is stepped down. So, what we will do? We will not consider this distribution side because 400 volt side we will not consider I mean low tension side of the distribution transformer that we will not consider. We will consider only 11 kV feeder and this portion of that we will not consider this is actually grid side this one we call as a grid side that we will not consider. So, in the distribution system what we will do? We will assume the substation that is that 11 kV side is your slag bus right that will from that we will start. So, how the network will look like in distribution system it is something like this, it is something like this suppose you have you have the this is my 11 kV uh, I mean this one this one right 11 kV side and then we have this uh, ra radial network we have this radial network suppose you have this kind of radial network this is 11 kV side and this this is actually substation because this is actually this whole thing is at substation. So, this is actually substation this 11 kV is at the substation and this one will treat as a slag bus this one will treat as a slag bus this is say 1, 2, 3, 4 say 5, 6, 7 right. This radial network radial in this sense it is radial means geometrically radial as well as electrically radial because power flow is unidirectional because power flow is unidirectional because it is it is input is here in the substation right P and Q input is there and everywhere. So, this distribution transformer whatever you have what will take this one will represent as a load say load at node 2, load at node 3, load at node 4, load at node 5 it is node 6 and this is node 7 these are the load this whole 11 kV by 440 whatever it is drawing uh, power from the 11 kV this whole thing we represent it as a load. For, for example, if it is L 2 we will write it is P L 2 plus J Q L 2 similarly here P L 3 plus J Q L 3 and so on right and this is actually the load right uh, generally it is a lagging load. So, similarly for P L 4 plus J Q L 4 and so on these are the loads. So, all 11 kV transformer by 400 volt it is considered as a load. So, these are the load. Now, another thing is that 
uh, it is not only this, this is only main feeder, there is no lateral branches, but that is not the reality. You will find in India that several lot lateral branches are there. For example, if it is if it is say from node 3, something is emerging out, say say another another lateral branches is emerging out. So, this your what you call this is 7, this may be node number 8, node number 9, node number 10, here also load is there, everywhere load is there, everywhere load is there. Similarly, several other uh, other laterals may be there, say from example here some lateral branches will be there, right. So, uh, let some lateral branches, will be here also loads are there, loads are there, loads are there, right. So, everywhere loads are there. So, it is 8, 9, 10, say this is 11, this is 12, this is 13, this is 4, this node number is arbitrary, right. The way you want you can put. So, this will be actually structure. Now, question is that why it is radial, be, be for better protective coordination, right. Suppose, if uh, your uh, actually if fault occurs very close to the substation somewhere here, right. So, it will if suppose some fault has occurred somewhere here, Right. So, it will actually encounter very small impedance. So, fault current will be here it is high, but if you move somewhere fault is here, then it will actually your from here to here the total impedance will be higher. Right. If fault has occurred, so everything will go to the fault. So, a fault impedance from here to here will be very high and that is why that your fault current will be lower. Right. So, that is why that for better protective co your uh, coordination that generally you will find distribution networks operating in radial manner. But if you try to make a miss mess distribution network, suppose if I join 5 and 10, suppose some line if I join it will be created, it will be a loop, if you make it here and here uh, it will be another one. So, right and if fault happens somewhere, you will find that fault imp in that case what will happen because of the parallel th your uh, connection, the fault impedance will be your less and the fault current will be more. Therefore, cost of the protective equipment at the substation will be higher. So, so therefore, all the distribution networks you will find they operate in radial. This is the first thing. Second thing is this all these things distribution line it is a, a three phases are there A, B, C right even neutral may be there. So, that distribution line generally if you have three phases are there three phases A, B, C all three are there then what will happen every phase it may not carry the same current, it is unbalanced actually. If it is unbalanced, then what will happen? For example, suppose you have three phases, you have three phases, right. You have three because before explaining all this mathematics, I have to tell you all this. Suppose this is phase A, this is phase B, this is phase C and say this is your neutral. So, if every every phase is carrying I A, I B, I C current and here if it is unbalanced, some current will be there in the neutral also, if neutral is there. Therefore, what will happen that mutual coupling will happen between all these phases right A, B, B, C, C, A same time A and B and C and that mutual coupling will happen. That means, you have to consider that mutual uh, your reactance between that your what you call that each phases and uh, between each phase and neutral. So, in that case it will be a three phase load flow and you have to consider all the voltage V A, V B, V C all the three voltages you have considered and if neutral is there, neutral can be eliminated by some mathematics is there, but that is beyond the scope of this course. We will consider only balanced network. If network is balanced, then we can represent them by a single line, right. Assuming that all the phases carrying the same amount of current, but otherwise each phase suppose this is your I A, this is your I B, this is your I C all and same put it is I N. I A, I B, I C, if it carries different current, there is a possibility that neutral also will have some, some uh, current, right. So, I A, I B, I C different, then mutual coupling will happen, but we will not consider that. So, we will assume that distribution network are balanced and therefore, it can be represented by single line diagram, the way we do for transmission system, that way we can do. And, and substation actually, this will be substation, this will be a slack bus, we assume this is your 11 kb. Uh, substation that if you take 11 kb base, then it will be actually 1 per unit and every branch you have impedance r by x. So, distribution system actually r by x ratio in distribution system r by x ratio is high, because here conductors are of your what you call small cross sectional area. So, naturally r will be higher than your x value and this r by x ratio is high, right. And generally uh, whatever from distribution system to transmission system the reactance 
reactance of the your what you call that uh, distribution line and the transmission line for different type of conductors. Somehow I was calculating uh, something the variation of x from distribution x to your trans transmission say 220 kb line generally the reactance actually varies roughly exactly I cannot tell you the thing, but roughly it varies I think 0 0.26 to 7 ohm per kilometer to your uh, that reactance right. Uh, it is uh, your uh, uh, not ohm per kilometer this uh, this x x uh, values the your what you call the reactance values it is I can tell you in term percentage that will be better it will be hardly varies uh, 15 20 percent right uh, not more than that exact figure I cannot recall right now, but uh, next class if I come I will try to see that right. So, generally I have observed that reactance actually compared to the small uh, your cross sectional area to higher at the high tensile not very much uh, in terms of percentage, but ours varies significantly because distribution system that resists it is it actually uses a smaller cross sectional area and conductors are of different type for distribution it is names of animals or bird like squirrel uh, then rabbit then your uh, your uh, different type of uh, your uh, OSL different type of conductors are there for distribution, but that we will not discuss we will take only the R x values. So, every day, but R by x ratio distribution system will be higher it may be more it may be more than 1 it may be 2 right it will be more than higher not like transmission system you will find many cases it will be less than equal to 10, but here you will find it will be greater than equal to 1 for distribution side that means what will happen in distribution line and uh, voltage drop will be higher because impedance will be higher. So, there will be voltage drop right. So, these are the certain things, but question is we will assume our assumption is balanced and how we will solve this this kind of distribution network, but in the classroom purpose we will hardly take uh, as it is a radial network hardly 4 bus problem or 5 bus problem that we can manage rest we have to do it in computer generally, but we will see from the uh, classroom exercise point of view. So, this is some basic thing for distribution system now we will come that your distribution load flow. So, so load flow we will see that two methods we will see that two methods, but you have to try to understand actually each and everything. So, things are easy, but you try to understand. So, generally distribution networks are radial and r by x ratio is very high I told you just now right. And second thing is that the load flow technique for solving radial distribution network involve only the evaluation of simple algebraic expression. Uh, uh, algebra expression of it is of receiving and voltages right and this is actually before coming to that it will be power receiving and voltages. So, we will see that we will not use any Newton Raphson method uh, or Gauss Seidel method we will use uh, we, will, we will exploit the radial uh, nature of the distribution system right. So, we will uh, just now I told we will assume that the three phase radial distribution network we will assume it is balanced and can be represented by their equivalent single line diagram this I told you earlier and loads will be treated as a constant power type load we will treat as a constant power load, but uh, composite load also can be incorporated in this uh, in this uh, algorithm, but I will not in that case uh, I will not come to that, but in that case uh, that uh, every iteration you have to compute the load because for composite load load will be function of the voltage magnitude. So, that will not be considered, but if you have any if you write any code or anything or if you are interested you can put the question in the forum there I will put the answer, but here I will not uh, I will not do that right. So, now second thing is for example, just now I showed you first what we will do we will consider a main feeder case look at this right this is the solution methodology first we will consider a main feeder case that means there is no lateral branches right. So, what will happen that so we have taken a 8 node problem node 1 is a substation this is your slack bus this is node 1 this is node 2 node 3 node 4 node 5 node 6 node 7 node 8 the blue ink one right this is node 8. Now, every branch it is every this voltage is V 1 V 2 V 3 is complex voltages V 3 V 4 V 5 V 6 V 7 V 8 these are complex voltage and substation voltage V 1 we are taking as a slack bus. So, that means V 1 will be known to you that is if we assume 1 angle 0 it will be 1 angle 0 right. Now, each branch as it is as a radial network there are 8 branches there so therefore, sorry there are 8 nodes that means you have 
uh, 8 minus 1, 7 number of branches, it is a radial network. So, this is branch 1, branch 2, branch 3, branch 4, branch 5, branch 6, branch 7. This bracket, the red ink bracket is actually branch number. This is 1, 2, 3, branch 4, branch 5, branch 6, branch this red one, right. Now, every branch is carrying current. So, this is capital I 1, capital I 1, the current of branch 1, capital I 2 is current of uh, branch 2, capital I 3 is current of branch 3, capital I 4 is current of branch 4. Uh, 4. Similarly, this current of branch 5 I 5, current of branch 6 I 6 and current of branch 7 ca capital I 7 is uh, your what you call uh, branch 7, right. But it is a last branch, later we will see the same current actually going to the load. So, basically I 7 is equal to I 8, that is load current. Now, as I told you everywhere that distribution transformer is there, that means current will be flowing through this, right. And actually these are the these are the current that is I 2, I 3 actually, I mean these are the current, this is the current going through this. For example, in node 2, I 2, it is I 3, these are the current going to the distribution transform that is from the, that is to the distribution load, right. So, if it is so, then this is the current going to the your load distribution side, uh, rather than we will distribution transformer, we will consider the distribution side load that is 11 kV, say 11 kV by 400 volt transformer and after that all the residential commercial loads are connected, right. So, this is I 2 uh, for node 2, I 3, this is the load, uh, load current for node 3, this is the load current for node 4, this is the load current for node 5, this is the load current for node 6, this is the load current for load, uh, node 7, the load current for node, node 8, right. The blue one is I, it, uh, your uh, that node number, blue one. Now, this is also you have a load, lagging load. So, for node 2 it is P L 2 plus J Q L 2 I think this is known, this will be given data, this is known, right. This will be P L 3 plus J Q L 3, this will be P L 4 plus J Q L 4, this is for node 5, P L 5 plus J Q L 5, this will be P L 6 plus J Q L 6, this is P L 7 plus J Q L 7 and this one P L 8 plus J Q L 8, right. So, this figure 1 actually single line diagram of radial distribution network, this is for main feeder. One thing before proceeding further. I would like to tell such that there should not be any confusion. When I write current say, if I write current I 1, I 2 like this, actually from the whatever algorithm I have given it from the coding point of view. So, when I write I 1, actually here I am writing I bracket 1, they are same thing. When I suffix 2, it is I 2 right leaks. When it is I 3 means it is I 3 right, same thing. So, there should not be any confusion. Similarly, when I write I 1, actually this will be your, you can write I 1, capital I 1 branch current, when I write I 2, it will be I 2 and so on. When I write I 3, it will be your I 3, I put in bracket. From the coding point of view, I have written this, all these thing. Here in a diagram, it will be in suffix, but when you write the mathem mathematics, I will use this one, but identical thing. Similarly, for voltage, if it is voltage V 1, it will be V 1, if it is V 2, actually it is V 2. So, if it is V 3, actually it is V 3 and so on, right. So, all it, if it is coming to your total number of branches, say total number of branches ln, it will be your, your uh, I ln, right. If you come to total number of node, if it is your, uh, if it is V n b, it will be actually V n b, if total number of node. Similarly, here also, if total number of node is n, n b, it will be I n b is equal to this one, if it, it will be I n b is equal to I n b. So, me, so, there should not be any confusion. I will use this uh, when mathematics part, I mean mathematics is very simple here, but I will use this notation, but from the when I am explaining in the figure, it will be suffix this because it looks good also, save some space and easily understandable, right. Therefore, what you have first main feeder then lateral branches, how we will do this? So, figure 1 shows the single line diagram. This and every branch you have the impedance also R 1 plus J x 1, R 2 plus J x 2, the blue color, R 3 plus J x 3, R 4 plus J x 4, R 5 plus J x 5, R 6 plus J x 6, R 6 plus R 7 plus J x 7. This all the resistance and reactance will be given in ohmic values and this P L 2, P L 2, Q L 2, P L 3, Q L 3 and so on, all this will be given in kilowatt and kilo bar. You have to convert it to power unit, but later we will see. Right, when we will take the numericals at that time, we will see. Right, and I have told you all this uh, bracket red ink mark is the branch number. Right, now the now what we will do now branch number, sending a node, 
receiving a node and nodes beyond all branches you have to make a table first right because you have to write the uh, your, you have to understand first so first the you are sending a, sending a node receiving a node right all things you have to write you have to write branch number also there are seven branches here right and how many branches there between e, uh, you have beyond each branch for example how many nodes are there first suppose uh, this is your branch one beyond this branch how many nodes are there 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so how many seven nodes are there it is for main feature only beyond this branch how many nodes are there 3 4 5 6 7 8 six nodes are there beyond this branch how many nodes are there 4 5 6 7 8 five nodes are there and so on this way you have to make a table so first table uh, i am given then i'll explain that how things are right so in this table actually it is your branch number we represent by jj right here i made it jj because j we are using as a complex operator so that's why jj branch number say branch 1 branch 1 is sending a node is m1 is equal to isjj m2 is equal to irjj right that means for your understanding for your understanding because you have to your what you call you have to uh, make such a suppose when branch number is jj1 we are making m1 is isjj m2 is irj that means when your when jj equal to 1 when jj is equal to 1 right this is your m1 m1 actually isjj jj is equal to 1 is equal to is1 that is when jj is equal to 1 is1 actually is equal to 1 and when m2 is receiving a net m2 is equal to irjj that is your m2 is equal to irjj and jj is 1 jj is 1 so it will be your ir1 that is equal to 2 that means when branch number jj is equal to 1 that is your sending a node m1 is equal to 1 receiving a node m2 is equal to 2 m1 m2 will come later right for the time being this is your for the branch 1 that's why you are putting m1 is equal to isjj m2 is equal to is sending a node that is your just now i told that m1 when jj is equal to 1 1 m2 is equal to 2 this way you have to put it in an array right so nodes beyond branch jj so this is branch 1 this is branch 1 so how many nodes are there beyond how many nodes are there 1 2 3 first you count 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 nodes are there because starting from 2 to 8 so don't count node number uh, 2 3 don't count you count first how many nodes are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so uh, total number here also uh, nodes beyond branch jj these are the nodes 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and total count is 7 right similarly similarly when jj is equal to 2 when your uh, jj is equal to 2 just hold on <coughs> when jj is equal to 2 say jj is equal to 2 your m1 is isjj is equal to is2 from this table you can get when branch number jj is equal to 2 when jj is equal to 2 your is2 is equal to 2 sending inside is 2 so it equal to 2 and receiving inside m2 is equal to your irjj is equal to ir2 is equal to when jj is equal to 2 receiving inside first you make this table of your own this is 3 so this is 3 that means from branch if you look at the diagram for branch 2 this is your sending a sending a node 2 this is receiving a node 3 that's why sending a node 2 receiving a node 3 so that's why it is 2 3 and how many nodes are there beyond branch 2 this is branch 2 count uh, your 1 2 3 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 right you have total number of uh, node 6 and they are your this one branch 2 so 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so you have 3 4 5 uh, your 3 4 5 6 so total is 6 these are the nodes available this table you will make of your own right because this data you have to read in the computer then automatically no newton option nothing i'll show you how simple it is right automatically you can develop the algorithm right so but this table you have to make the connectivity connectivity sending in branch numbers sending in receiving in nodes beyond branch jj and total number of node counts thank you very much we will be back again